Well, it all starts from tomorrow. Year 12 exam results will be announced across the country. That can be a pretty nerve-wracking time for students and parents, so in a moment we'll have advice from our own experts. But first, let's meet some of those getting ready for their big day. It might look like Year 12s all over Australia are enjoying themselves right now, but they can't shake the niggling feeling that results day is nearly here. Just ask Istiak Ahmed. You got the pressure from your parents, you got the pressure from yourself, and you got the pressure from like just people around you. Students in Queensland will find out first, then Victoria and Tasmania, followed by New South Wales and the Northern Territory, then WA. South Australia's date will be announced soon. And then everyone celebrates or commiserates. We've heard a lot about the apocalypse this week, but it's important to remember it's not the end of the world. And Naomi isn't too worried. Even if my result isn't as good as I expected, I'm just hoping to work hard and hopefully in the future, as I keep on with that work ethic, I'll get what I want. And for all the parents out there who are feeling a little anxious, please don't worry about what happens next. Either we slip into a state of depression or we go party hard. <laughs> Two options. We're joined by education expert Sharon Wish and careers expert Margie Worrell. Girls, good morning to both of you. Look, I can hear the tension, the kids, the parents. Sharon, what do you think parents and students can do just to manage all the stress, the anxiety and the weight? Yeah, absolutely, Mel. I think the most important thing is uh, to remember that they're not the sum total of what their score is. I think they've got to remember this this is not the be-all, end-all. And in 10 years' time, they won't even probably remember what their ATAR score was. But I think, you know, it's really important just to remember that this is a stepping stone and to celebrate as well, you know, that they've worked really hard all year. And, um, and I think it's important just to put that into perspective, that uh, they've really got to just celebrate you know, encourage them that they've done a wonderful job no matter what their score ends up being. Yeah, Margie, your advice to students who don't get the result that they want, sort of don't get the ATAR result that gets them into their course initially? Yeah, well, I think it's important to remember there's a lot of very successful people out there who didn't get the Year 12 result they wanted. And it can feel like right now it's the be-all and end-all, but it's not, and it doesn't determine long-term success. So really focusing in on what you can do right now and not letting the result that comes through on a text message or in an email define you. This is just one measure of how capable these young people are at this point in time. Absolutely. Well, I'm hoping they're all listening to your advice. It always seems easier said than done, but gee, it's true, isn't it? Thank you both so much for joining us and good luck to all the kids yep. waiting on their results.